Good morning. Today is going to be a good day. It is one of the first days that everything has opened up. All the fisheries, all the stores for the most part have opened up. We are going to get out there and go catch us some fish. I think today we're going to do the Google Maps challenge. So I'm going to look on my phone and uh, pull up Google Maps and see if we can find some water we can fish in that we've never fished in before. So this is the first time ever doing this um, and I want to bring you guys along with me. So first we're going to go ahead and get some food and then uh, we'll pull that phone out. Sounds good. Good morning. Can I get the uh, $1.50 bundle? And then a uh, Fanta, a large one. And that'd be it. Thank you. So we got our McDonald's, we got our drink. I'm gonna pull off to the side here so we can find our first spot. Um, and we'll get this day going. I looked at the forecast, it wasn't supposed to be raining, but now I'm getting a couple sprinkles. So uh, we'll see how this day goes. It might turn out really bad, but let's go catch some fish. So we got our phone out, we've got Google Maps. I am gonna search for some kind of water out here. Never been here before. It doesn't look too bad. I think that is going to be our first destination, baby. Let's get it. I think first we're going to go ahead and start off with this chatterbait with a small yellow trailer. There's a ton of grass in this water, so uh, this might not be our best option, but I've already got it rigged up, so let's see what we can do. Hopefully you guys can see me. Oh yeah, we're just hitting the grass all over the place. It's real early in the year, so a lot of the lakes around here are just covered in grass and lime and stuff like that. All right, so we've got the weedless setup. And I just found these worms the other day and they just have so much color to them, I like them. So we'll go ahead and try this out for a little bit see if we can combat these weeds catch ourselves our first fish oh Well, it looks like we got ourselves a winner here. It's happening today. Had ourselves a good bite. We just need him to commit. Yeah. 
there we go. Fish on. Look at that, baby. All right. Pond number one is a success. He's a small little guy. The weedless didn't even come out. Look at that. That is crazy. Fish number one. Get out there. That one's going to catch us a fish right there. Guaranteed. Guaranteed honker coming out of this pond. took it he took it there he is all right Woo! another good size fish i like he ain't good size <laughs> look at that number two out of this google maps pond it doesn't get much better than that even if they are small guys Man, that is fun to do. They're just tearing up my weedless. So fun just to let them hit it and run off for a bit before you set the hook. One of my biggest flaws when I was first starting fishing was never letting them run with it. Let them get it in their mouth. I always pulled it on the first, first tug. It takes a lot of discipline to just let them take it, and go. And that's one of the bigger differences between a an amateur angler and moving up. It's just those little subtle things. Just knowing how to handle a certain situation. I know they're out there. All right, there, that's it. That's the one. Let that sink. There's a hit. There's a hit. Yep. There it is. Oh, we lost him. We lost him. Oh. Connected to the hook, but man, I like that. He's got it. He's got it. Swimming with it. There he is. <laughs> Man, I could do this all day. Yeah, they just keep coming right off that hook. All right, so I'm moving. Just, just little guys, all day, baby. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yep. You want it. You want it. <laughs> Am I going to get anything bigger? Is this all we're catching today? Little quarter pounders? Man. Last cast. I can't end on a big hit like that. There it is. There it is. That's the one we were looking for. Maybe. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh my God. How? In the world, did we manage that? I, th I thought he was big. It's just the way he was hooked. 
right through his eye. Ah, he's the smallest guy we had. All right. That's it for pond number one. I will catch you guys at pond number two. Pond number one was a success. We uh, caught plenty of fish. Nothing, nothing crazy though. So we're gonna go ahead and move to our next spot. Hopefully we can catch something big. If not, I'm happy. We did go out to a random place and find some fish. There's some water here. Just not 100% sure if I can get to that. All right, that's the place. All right, that spot did not work. It is got a sign on it that says no trespassing, no fishing, no hunting, none of that. So we are gonna go ahead and go down the street a little bit. There is a creek that we could possibly fish out of. It's been raining quite a bit, so hopefully it's not overflowing. It's almost impossible to catch anything out of this creek if it's flooding too much. So we'll go ahead and check that out for a couple minutes. Got this bad boy. Go ahead and toss her in the water. Oh, yep. We're getting bites already. Okay. I'm really liking this here. Let's pitch this bad boy right underneath that tree there. It's a good little spot. Ooh. That was a nice little bite. And these guys down here seem to bite so non-aggressively. Just poke it in right there, let it sink. Pop it a couple times, let it sink. Let's just set it right down here. Cast one more time right over here. Okay, we're gonna head back towards our stuff. All right, I was gonna call it. <laughs>